viewers of this video, and what the heck happened to this door? There we go. <laughs> Welcome back to the Redstone Invasion channel. Um, today we've got something a little bit different, um, intended for survival, and we hope you guys enjoy. Um, today we've got a guest as well. Uh, this man is... Uh, intended for survival. <laughs> yeah. Howdy. Uh yeah, he he runs this pretty awesome server. He he does he just helps around. He's he always seems to be there, and 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 we love him. Somebody loves me. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get this video out of the way. Um, let's just walk through this mysterious glowstone crater here. <laughs> Let me through. Yeah. Oh. The beauty. We had to do all this for a single video. <laughs> <laughs> because it's survival friendly and it's made for survival. Yes, so yeah. as you can see, we're in a, in a normal survival world. Uh, yep, so, so collecting all this bowstone took a real long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, oh, would you look at this? Hmm. This looks like it could use some redstone torches to decorate it with. Oh. oh, what's this? It was a special spot. <laughs> Just <laughs> all the rest of the torches. <laughs> Anyways, so what we've got is a hidden crafting table. God, Jesus! <laughs> a hidden enchanted table. And, uh... Does that require a redo? No, it doesn't. <laughs> the whole God, Jesus thing. <laughs> I could see some haters out there. Okay, we've got a hidden... Enchanting table. <laughs> uh, Stop implicating religion into this video. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you place the torch on the wall, it opens up, and you got the full 30 levels. And then also, if you place the torch here, um, it takes away uh, some table, uh, some bookshelf, sorry. <laughs> it, it takes away tables. And then it brings you down. It you flips all the tables all over. <laughs> What are you going to do with all those tables? Darn it. Anyways, then another thing you can use this for is hiding chests. And you can put hose and cake in there. And it's all good and dandy-like. Mm. Hopefully you won't be trapped inside. Um, you appear to have destroyed something. Cactuses? Yep. I'll fix it. Cactuses? <laughs> Where? Well, Anyways, here's all the wiring. Uh, really sandstone glass. There we go. Um, so here's all the wiring, including the wall and the floor. And these are two blocks that must be solid. Um, three. Three, three blocks. Three blocks. Must be solid. <laughs> uh, so when you place a torch here, it's going to power this piston and then send it into the cactuses. <laughs> <laughs> and then send it into the circuitry, uh, which is fairly simple. I believe it's cacti. Cactuses. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but never mind. Um. Anyways, yeah. Let's let's go ahead into the tutorial. Um. Actually, this thing has a volume of three hundred seventy something blocks, but that doesn't really matter. Anyways, let's go all the way up here. Why not? Uh, you're gonna start off with. Red. I'm gonna destroy the block. We're <laughs> <laughs> okay, gonna wait, start off should... with. What? We're going to start off with our 2x3 uh, doorway that is going to hide our enchanting table. Uh, let's go ahead and add the floor to that. Boom. Look at that. Um, you're going to bring up the ceiling 2 here. The wall, sorry. 2 up here. And then add 6 sticky pistons here, facing downwards. And then right here, we're going to add 3 sticky pistons and then give them blocks that will serve to take care of those top three blocks in the doorway and then for these bottom three what we're gonna do is extend down the floor one and then place three sticky pistons facing upwards and those will grab those like so uh... now all you're gonna do is while you're facing it you're gonna come to this middle piston down here place the sticky piston facing left give it a block 
and then when that piston is extended, it's going to conduct the power of this torch into redstone that leads around in a little L shape like so. That's going to run into a piston monostable, which goes a bit like that, pretty simple, and then into a repeater there to stabilize the output. Uh, let's go ahead and do the bottom. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> we're not, we're not disturbing the video as we did last time. Well, Except for this piston clock. Um, anyways, uh, so this repeater. Let's start with the bottom. This repeater is going to go down into redstone there, and then that's going to go into a block into two repeaters right there, and then that's going to go into a. Make sure these are both on one. It's going to go into a block, into redstone, into a block, into repeater. That repeater is going to go into a block, into a dot of redstone, and then into a block. Now, to power this metal piston, we're going to use a few tricks. Um, we're going to make sure that this remains a dot uh, and point into this block. So what we're going to do for that is make the power go up here into a half slab. And then if you don't know, here's a handy little trick you should know, is if you have a piston, you can power it like so. If you lead power underneath and over to, you can power it like that. Um, so we're going to use that principle here, and just lead that redstone over one, and then point it that way uh, with a lever. And that's going to power all three of the bottom ones with one tick. Let's take care of the top now. What we're going to do is from this uh, piston monostable. Thanks, guys. It's my flying machine. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so from this block, it's going to go into a sticky piston with a block on top. And then we're going to have a gravity affected block, gravity affected solid block on top of that. So this is a T flip flop, and what we're gonna do is permanently power a uh, thanks. Gonna per permanently power this repeater here, so that when this T flip flop is activated, it's gonna conduct this gravel block through. So lead redstone from the output of that. That redstone is gonna go over into a repeater on two ticks, into a block with redstone on top. Lead that redstone up into a block there. And then what we're going to do is, let's see, I'm going to place either a redstone lamp, a trapdoor fence gate, or you can do this. However, I'm just going to do this for now. No, stop. Makes it a bit more compact. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so now what we're going to do is leave this uh, redstone over, it, over this repeater from which it comes like that and then you're gonna lead this redstone up one away from the repeater up one there and then over itself into a half slab lead this redstone all the way around and that's gonna power all six of the top pistons to power these pistons when they're pushed down the block push down a block what we're gonna do is lead our bookshelves across and just gonna lead redstone on that. Um, at this point, let's go ahead and just fill in the enchanting table area. You can make the floor uh, planks, like so. And then I'm just going to place our enchanting table there. And then just going to place all of our bookshelves. Make sure that you have these corner bookshelves, that is important for getting 30 levels. And just place them too high all around. Uh, like so. And then this will be your wall. Just going to build a frame for the wall. There we are. Uh, now to close this thing, once it's open, what we're going to do is grab ourselves a pressure plate. I'm going to make it wooden to match the floor. You place it right there. 
and then we're going to uh, leave the signal from that pressure plate that's going to be powering this block and that's going to go into this repeater on 4 into a block and into this repeater also on 4 block on top and let's try it out step on this and it closes up put the torch there and it should open what the heck what have you done uh i have no idea what the heck Here's redstone. If, if, <laughs> okay, if, so if you get anything bizarre as that as such, <laughs> just use redstone <laughs> or a lamp there. Uh, right. Nothing happened. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You have not seen anything. <laughs> okay, so it works perfectly as intended. Perfect. <laughs> Our designs never fail. <laughs> so once you got this, this is your entire essential wiring done for the hidden crafting god. A hidden enchanting table. He hasn't played survival ever, so... <laughs> <laughs> I... Yeah, if there's any kind of table at all, it's probably crafting, unless it's enchanting. And I just... Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, now what we're going to do is add the optional taking away of these bookshelves down here. And the, when you place a torch here, that's what it's going to do. So what we're going to do is come down here. And then on this piston, next to this piston here, the rightmost piston of the door, uh, on the bottom, place a piston there, sticky piston, give it a block, and then when that piston is extended, it's going to conduct the power of this torch into redstone here, up, and invert a torch, place a block on top of that torch, and then, God. No, come on, come on! <laughs> what the heck? Okay, anyways, that's gonna uh, depower that piston there. Um, what we're gonna do is also from this torch, lead it into a repeater on one, block in front, redstone on top, and then block adjacent to that redstone there. And then we need to lengthen the signal that goes into that torch. I'm just going to use that repeater there. Lock it off there. So that you still got a dot there. Uh, now what we're going to do is just add those pistons that lead all the way around. I'm going to take out those two for now. So that we can place those. Crap, look at everything. Nope, that's not right. One block lower. There we go. And... One, now we're going to add the T flip-flop piston. Makes it a bit more optional. Um, Don't this forget. Is, this is the T flip-flop piston. And when... Uh, yeah. So when these bookshelves are up... Darn it. Let's add the rest of these. Um, just leave them all the way around. And then once you hit this block with the repeater on 4, you're done. Now, okay. So when these bookshelves are up, this is also going to be up. This T flip flop pistons block is also going to be up. Keep that in mind. Repeater from this uh, T flip flop. Uh, it also serves as a monostable. Leave this over three, and then into an upside down half slab of glowstone there. And then the way we power these last two is simply with dot of redstone there to power that. And then that dot will also power this block and into that piston there. Repeater on that block and then block into that repeater. And we should be done actually. Let's try it out. Perfect. Not perfect. Except for the <laughs> gravel that is falling on this. And, and. Um, uh, right. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore that. Um, and uh, so, if you noticed, when the bookshelves were down, whoops, when the bookshelves were down, uh, before you could see the open air, I'm just gonna fill that in with glowstone for now. And I have seven stacks of 
sand and gravel in my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> and now, if we want to add the hidden chests that go there, what I'm just going to do is cut out... The one on the right works fine the way it is. Let's just get a chest. Where is it? Just place your chest there, and it should open just fine. However, on this side, this chest will not open. Oh no, what are we going to do? We're going to replace the... <laughs> That's a beautiful one. <laughs> what we're going to do is replace the block that this repeater on 2 is on with a upside down half slab or a stair to make it transparent, and then it should work. Um, like so. Why can't I move? There we go. There you go. Moving is too mainstream. They can fill it with wooden swords and glowstone dust and crap like that. Cake and doors. Beautiful. All right. And then once you're stuck inside, you can break the pistons and. <laughs> 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 Anyways. <clears throat> yeah. So I guess that's it. Is that it? Um. That that's probably it. Uh, oh, right. The places where you cannot place solid blocks. Ah. You cannot place a solid block underneath this piston here because that is going to uh, be powered by that dot there. And then you cannot place a solid block here. That will go into the T flip flop piston, and you do not want that. That's Going just about it. Let's just, let's just fill in the walls and the floor and, and stuff. Yeah, you must And there we go. <clears throat> Pump up it away. <laughs> fly, Moz, fly. I'm, I'm telling you, this would work in real life. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> oh wait, that that's the acceleration part. <laughs> the amount of creativity oh, is just so high. Minus the high part. <laughs> You know, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Face bomb. Anyways, I'll put... This is how I, what I fall asleep to every day. <laughs> I'll, I'll put a link to Maz's uh, <laughs> server in the description. Um, that, Great server. Yeah. Yeah. I play survival on it every day. Uh, <laughs> you don't play survival and we know it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, now that we're done... Uh, we can blow up this uh, crater. Oh yeah, we completely forgot. Jump down, boys. <laughs> boys. <laughs> well, okay. Well, well. Here we go. I wonder what this dot is. Oh shit. Hit it with a bang. Yeah. How much did you put in there? Yeah. Six hundred fifty blocks or something. Surprisingly, a perfect amount. <laughs> it's it's it was priceless. It was absolutely perfect. This is the second time we built this place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, this is the Restaurant Innovation Channel. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, we say thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time. I can talk faster than you. Bye. Bye.